This is the second tutorial looking at first person character controls. The first tutorial showed how to set up the character controls. In this tutorial I'll show you how I made the obstacles. I will talk about the stairs and show you how I made them at the end of the tutorial. The character can walk up and down slopes. To illustrate this I made two ramps. For demonstration purposes the ramps are simply mesh planes with physics type static and collision bounds box. The first ramp is at an angle of 30 degrees. The steepest angle I found the character could walk over was 42 degrees. Any steeper and the character either had to walk around or fly over. The green cubes have an elastic material, the blue cubes don't. They are all of physics type rigid body. The first cube has a mass of 10, the second a mass of 100 and the third 1000. With the material linked to the blue cubes, special collision is not set. With the green cubes it is and elasticity is set to 1. To get a bounce on collision we also need to set special collision and the elasticity for the material linked to the character object which we can access even though it's in a different layer. Normally in a scene you wouldn't have a mesh plane sticking up in the air but if you do and you want to be able to see both sides of the plane in the material you'll have to uncheck back face culling. Before I look at the stairs I want to look at the character physics settings. The walk speed has a default value of 4 and a maximum value of 10. The run speed has a maximum value of 20 but I couldn't find any way of getting into run mode without programming. The step height has a default value of 0.25 and a maximum of 1. It took quite a lot of experimenting before I could get the character to walk upstairs. Experimenting with the step height and the steepness of the stairs. In the rest of the tutorial I'll show you how I made them. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Set Recommended Options. Click the Object Properties button and set the Y scale of the cube to 4, the Z scale to 0.2 and the Z location to 0.2. Change the name of the cube to Stair. Click the Modifiers button. Add an Array modifier. Set the X offset to minus 1 and the Z offset to 1. The count gives the number of steps in the stairs. For demonstration purposes I'm going to keep the count low. Dragging to make the outline window bigger, we have one mesh object called stair. If I apply the modifier, we still have one mesh object. Go into edit mode. In the mesh menu, vertices separate by loose parts and we now have three mesh objects. Go back into object mode. In the object menu, transform origin to geometry puts the origins in the right place. Click the physics button, click object physics and collision bounds. Although all three are selected only the active object is affected so you have to repeat the actions for all the steps. There could be many steps so to manage them I'm going to create a group. Click object properties, add group and I'm going to call the group stairs. Click on the next step, click add group and click stairs and repeat for all the steps. Now we can move the stairs by selecting grouped, group, press G for grab, Y for the Y axis, 4 and enter and I can append the stairs 
into a scene, file, append, go to the folder where you have the stairs file, select the file, go into the group folder, select the stairs and append. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.